Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofina, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout 4, the gunless playthrough with Bayou Bob, who looks absolutely smashing in his new Grognak costume. We're at Tampines Bluff, because today we're going to continue with something of a uh, larger quest again. So we're going to continue the uh, Brotherhood of Steel questline today, where we'll try and find the recon team. That's why I'm uh, here at Tampines Bluff. Let me show you on the map. So we are right here in the middle of the map, on the north side of the map, with the uh, the fine people at Ten Pines Bluff. For this uh, event, now already six people living there, because of course we made that a settlement a while back. But we need to head over here to get our first ping for the recon team. So we'll, uh, we'll be heading that way and uh, I'll let you know when something interesting happens. Just to have a little chat about the Grognak axe. I know I've slacked it off before because I saw the uh, damage output for the other weapons, but of course I can't forget that it does a significant amount of bleeding damage and of course the stagger, which is really, really handy. And there's another thing that I've completely missed, but I've seen when I reviewed the footage, Grognak's axe actually doesn't use that many action points in VATS, which makes it even more interesting. Those are, that's a trader. I might actually want to take a look at that. Let's put the axe away and let's have a little chat. Open for so not much except a bag of fertilizer that I'm going to take off her hands because of course we want to make explosives later on. So continuing on. So I hear gunfire at our first real stop because uh, there's actually a giant airplane that crashed here. And it's one of the one of the cooler areas of the game, in my opinion. And it's actually pretty close to where we start, but the gunfire is really worrying me. So that's one wing, and that's not the entire plane, that's actually just one wing. Because the rest of the plane is right over here, so... Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Minuteman? Okay, we might actually help those out then. We might actually take care of the ghouls, because usually this place is filled with ghouls, but I'll... Uh, I'll take care of a few of them. Minuteman, yeah, okay. So not much going on loot-wise, so I'm just gonna continue on our way. I took the flight recorder out of the cockpit, just uh, because that's a quest item for one of the side quests. Just in case we come across that, we have that item handy. But without further ado, let's carry on. So next up is I think the area over the... Oh, what the flip in hell? Rat scorpion, rat scorpion. This is the first, the first rat scorpion we've come across, but oh god, what the hell is going on? The game is flipping out, the game is flipping out. Oh fuck, yeah, the game is flipping out. Oh god. Ow, 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 ow. Jesus Christ. This thing hits hard. Stagger. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Okay, what the hell happened there? I had a full stamina bar, action point bar. Yeah, the game probably flipped out on me there, so I'm gonna have to kill these dogs again. Didn't see that before, but now you'll get to see it in full fletched HD. Okay, here we go. That one will die of bleed damage. And there we go. And there we go. And another smack. There we go. Okay, four dogs dealt with. But now, the scorpion is still going to be around here somewhere. Um, where's the fourth one? There's more dogs over there. But where did the scorpion come from? Because that was ridiculous. I started... Uh, vatsing and all of a sudden it flipped all over the place. I know rat scorpions burrow underground, but this was just plain ridiculous. Oh, there it is. There it is. So yeah, it's gonna burn. Yeah. Fuck off. That is so ridiculous. Come on. Blam. 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 Plan. Come on, kill it, kill it, this time we got it, there we go, holy shit, so yeah, those guys hit big, as you can see, that was a third of my health bar, well you saw it before when one killed me, but uh, yeah, continuing on, so what I wanted to say before we got mauled by uh, a mongrel, no, not a mongrel, the rat scorpion, the rat scorpion, 
Bob has got his head screwed loose. But um, yeah, we're heading into Walden, I think. Um, which is where we're gonna find another hospital. And I'm hesitating whether I should go inside. Don't think I'll find anything interesting for me in this playthrough, but there's a few interesting items there anyway. Um, among which, of course, another Massachusetts uh, surgical journal, which gives me a bit more limb damage. Medford Memorial Hospital, there we go. But I have to be careful because there's uh, quite a few enemies in this area. Among which there should be super mutants. I think there's super mutants guarding the hospital normally. So I'm just gonna discover a few things. Oh god, and since. 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 That might be an issue, because since, of course, have guns. Aha, there we go. So now the synths will start... Oh, there's a legendary in there. There's a legendary in there. Okay. I think the suicider killed the synths. That was interesting. So there's still super mutants over there, but... At least they took care of the suicider for me. And there was a legendary in between those. There we go, Malden. I said Walden, didn't I? It's it's Malden, it's Malden. Uh, ghoul Slayer, oh for fuck's sake. Ghoul Slayer's rather right arm. Yeah, so that's just more damage against ghouls. God damn it. I've been really unlucky, unlucky with my uh, with my legendary drops for now. Um, so yeah, usually there are indeed two synths over here. But uh, yeah, the suicide took care of that and I just uh, took what I needed and I'm gonna be heading on my way. He actually killed one of his own as well by Exploding, yeah, there we go. The suicider. So that's good. Now I have confirmation that he is indeed dead already. Uh, I'm not going to be dealing with the rest of the super mutants. I'm going to leave them alive for now. So let's head deeper into town. So at the edge of town, we need to get to the distress signal. Uh, so I'm going to check out the radio in a second. But uh, I just want to make sure that we're okay in here. There we go. Ghouls. Ghouls. Seems to be a lot of them. There we go. Molotov to get them crippled a bit. And just take out the rest of the guys if I can. Machete! So yeah, I started equipping the machete to see how that stacks up against everything else. It actually does quite a bit of damage. The ghouls keep coming. Oh, but that... Preston Garvey? What are you doing here? So, um... Yeah, just accept. There we go. Uh, final one. So the big downside to the machete is I have less uh, hits with it. But this... What? Preston? Preston? Wait a second. This isn't Preston. Hey man, I don't think we've met, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Uh, no? Yeah? And I'm the general. Ha! That's a good one. Well, I see you already know about us. You might have heard we're making a comeback. The general sent me to collect donations from concerned citizens like yourself. What is Help going on? And you can count on the Minutemen to be there when you need us. Can I put you down for, say, a hundred caps? What? Uh, I am the general. No, really. I am the general. Oh, shit. Is he gonna... What? Where are you go? Why do you think you're going? You're gonna die. Goodbye. And down you go. That was... But, whoa, what the... Whoa, what the... Okay. So, bottle cam... Ooh. Ooh. He doesn't actually have a bad weapon on him. Don't really need the weapon, but that was that was weird. Preston Garvey impersonated. Never seen that before. So might as well discover this location. I think it's another yeah, the MedTech Research Facility. Might as well. Hmm. Might be something interesting here as well. So let's let's just take a quick peek inside. Okay, inside. This seems to be a calm area. But I'm guessing since there were ghouls at the outside of the area, there will be ghouls inside as well. I've never actually been in here, but 
Security alert, containment lockdown and effect administration has initiated the containment lockdown for this facility. All security staff maintain site integrity until further instructed by executive personnel. Use of deadly force authorized. Okay. So something happened here that caused the people to initiate a lockdown. But what happened exactly? Let's find this out. Well, at least they have booze, which is perfect. Ooh, four fusion cores. Wow. Uh, those are incredibly heavy, but I mean, I'm starting to look for uh, a way to get a proper uh, power armor set as well. So uh, might come in handy sooner rather than later. Let's check the security terminal. Nothing new, just the same security alert as on the other terminal. So let's get the machete out and head deeper into the facility. So the elevator isn't functioning. And there seems to be very little happening over here. Although the, the brackets are shuffling, so there's definitely something around here. Oh my. That doctor kind of died while barfing over the toilet. Okay, so those seem to be decontamination arches, but... Let's use the terminal over here and see if anything else pops up. So open airlock doors. Access the night, okay. Can't do anything for that as well. Yeah, I hear the shuffling of ghouls. There we go. Four times the damage. So I don't have that with Grognak as well, which is interesting. So Grognak also gives me times three as the heavy weapons do on the stealth attack. So the stairs seem to be broken to go even further up, so... Okay, we're heading into an opener area. Seems to be ghouls up there. How do they get to me? Oh yeah, there's a ramp over there. There's one. Oh god. Why is he holding his hand so weirdly? Oh, there we go. Instant kill on the on the legendary. Quick draw laser pistol. God damn it. Don't really care about it. Don't really care about it. So they're still up there. There we go. Why did he get a hit in? Oh my, that one is really on fire. There we go. That seems to be another roamer. Can I get through the fire without it hurting me? There we go. And chop. Seems to be another one up here. but Oh, there we go. One and two. Okay, yeah, the stagger on... Grognak is actually better. So maybe for general combat, I'm just gonna keep going with Grognak for now. That seems to be it. It's a whole bunch of ghouls. Those guys really hurt. So let's check out the quick draw uh, laser pistol. So it costs 25% less action points. It's not bad, but uh, definitely not something I'm gonna use because I don't know how to pull the trigger. So that's the other side of the staircase, okay. Keep going, I suppose. Everybody here seems to be dead. Or ghouls. Oh! More ghouls. There we go. And hit him again. Hit him again, please. Thank you. That took a long time. So uh, there's one office up here that we're still holding a few uh, booze. I mean ghouls, but booze. Um, that seems to be it for... Ooh, stem pack, thank you. Because I lost a few to that rat scorpion a while back. But let's keep going. So it seems to be... The final floor. We haven't really seen much, ex much of an explanation as to why this place went to hell. And usually Fallout is pretty liberal with extra information. So a stalker... So a roamer, a normal ghoul, and a stalker. There we go. One. Ooh, sneak attacks. Two. And blitz to the last one. And stagger, stagger, and hits. They seem to be a bit fatter than the other ones. 
Well, thank you guys. No legendary, sadly. No uh, double luck. So let's go check out what this room is all about. Because it was heavily guarded. So there's another terminal in here. And more booze. Huh. Executive terminal requires key. I guess we'll have to find that key then. We can get down into another area. With a few medical supplies. Which is obvious for a firm that's called MedTech. But I did get a bit of radiation damage. Yeah, over here. What is this area all about? Because there's a few holes in this in the floors here and there, and I think this this area itself might be a bit of a puzzle. So this is the locker room again. Okay. So we've been here. We still can't open the airlock either, which is interesting. So I checked this out, and this is apparently a part of the uh, of a companion quest. So I can't progress any further into the building without that. So let's head back out. So that means we need to check out the distress signal now. It should be displaying. Something, yeah, there we go. 38.73%. So if we're heading in the right direction, that will go up. If we're not heading in the right direction, that will go down. So I think, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, right. I kind of remember this. This is the building that we need to check out. Um, there's a few things we can see over there, but the radioactive fallout is immense, I think. But let's check it out. There we go, Knight Varham, Battlefield Holotape, Knight Varham's Holotag, Fusion Cell, and his entire uniform. But let's leave it over there and take the Distress Pulsar. There we go, so we lose the Distress Signal. Uh, let's check out his log. Ambushed on the road, we're outnumbered, five to one. Varham, report. We're down to five percent! We'll have to scuttle the armor. We can't let them have it. For him! Damn it! Aspen set the self-destruct. Ferris, fall back. We'll head for the old military base, then try to make it to our holdout. The code will be our call sign. All right, move, move, move! There we go. Investigate the National Guard training grounds. So, um... These uh, men in armor and women in armor were uh, attacked by some unknown group and then uh, a few of them just decided to detonate their uh, power armor. Solid. So they uh, self-destructed their power armor and that's what uh, created this crater over here in the building. So they uh, wouldn't lose their power armor to anybody else so they decided to blow that up. But next up we need to head to the training grounds. I don't think... Oh, it's advanced. Gosh. There we go. A few fragmentation grenades. Don't mind if I do. And a pulse mine. Okay, done. Actually, not a bad save for uh, as saves go. Because usually saves don't actually have that many... Uh, that good of a loot drop. But, continuing on to the trading grounds. Ooh, there's a death claw over there. Just gonna leave that thing over there. Slowly make my way down. So, the training grounds, usually full of ghouls, and one especially dangerous thing. But I'm actually thinking about something that I've picked up in the medtech facility, because those few four fusion cores might actually come in handy. Because I know of a power armor set in here. That's going to be a problem. There are turrets over there. I'm not going to be able to hit those. Oh god. There we go. God damn it. There we go. Oh god. So yeah, that's a problem. Oh, I can actually hit it from here. There we go then. Okay, don't know how this works, but that actually worked. So the National Guard Armory is locked with a master lock. There's something we can actually do about that. We do need to be careful because it's not the only turret around here. I think there's another one at the other edge of the building. So I'm going to try and kill that as well. So because I can't hit it from here, I might as well just pop a grenade. There we go. That's good. And now... 
There might be a bit more, a few more ghouls around here, but I do want to get inside of the building now. Fuck me. Okay, a mine. Completely missed the mine. Mispressed buttons as well, but opening it up. Are there more mines in here? Are there more mines in here? There's that box. That seems to be it. So there's another machine gun turret over there. Which means another grenade surprise. There we go. I can actually have sneak attacks with grenades. That is interesting. But that was my last grenade because I got a few from the box before. But And I know there's a few mines around here if I'm not mistaken. And four more fusion cores. So now I definitely need that uh, that power armor. Okay, let's head in. So, the recruitment office. I think just more ghouls. Which should be fine, I think. Let's just take the axe for extra stunning. Although, you know what? The Rockfall Slugger now bleeds as well, so why not? I'm just gonna hit him. There we go. There we go, another one. And then left. And another one. Okay. And then over there. Okay. Ooh. There's a lot of them, but uh, for now I can manage. That's two more. Ooh, and a lunchbox. You know what we can make with that. Lunchboxes are nice. We can make fancy mines with that. Bubble cap mines. Okay, so an expert lock terminal, which you can't access just yet. Bit more ammo and your first assault rifle if we, you uh, wouldn't have found one before. But, uh, you know, we can't use guns, so not for us. Seems like there might be... Okay, so we followed the distress signal inside, which is fine. Because there's a distress pulsar. And now we have another... Yeah, there we go. Knight Astlin. So let's take Knight Aslan's holo tape and listen to that. Knight Terra Aslan, Brotherhood of Steel, Recon Team 429 Alpha, serial number 3431. It's been three hours since I set my distress pulsar. There's been no word from the Paladin or Ferris. Their objective was a satellite array on the coast. They may be out of range. My orders were to hold this position at all costs. The entire site has been overrun. The door won't last much longer. Paladin Brandis, sir. It's been an honor, sir. And then Knight Aslin died. So we are still talking about a Brandis. A Paladin Brandis. So uh, let's remember that name. So then in the desk we have the National Guard officer's password. Which we can use to open the terminal downstairs. Which in turn allows us to uh, open up this stuff. There we go, opening up the security door. Uh, I don't think there's anything directly in this room, but we need to head into a tunnel now. But because of Knight Aslan's holotape, we now know where they need to, where we need to go next, towards the satellite array you can see over there through the window. So that's our end game. But uh, for now, we still have a few roamers to deal with. And there we go. Taken care of rather easily. I think the rest might be outside still. Because we're gonna get ambushed rather soon, I think. Yeah, okay, let's just head into the barracks now. Again, another building, again filled with ghouls. So let's just carefully move our way through the building, kill everything we come across, and uh, get out of here alive. Oh god! That's a reaver. Okay, never mind. I killed it in one hit. Oil can. Thank you very much. But I think there might actually be a glowing one in here. But there's at least a chance that one drops. That's a roamer. A one hit. Can I hit that one? There we go. And then on the right. Still sneak attacks, which is great. Ooh, I love how you can clear a room just with blitz. 
So a lot of dead ghouls, but we're not out of the woods yet. Let's open up this door. Another normal ghoul who still hasn't seen me for some reason. Um, I don't think we've been downstairs yet either, so I think we'll need to drop down in a second. Where the hell is that noise coming from? I think it's downstairs. They just spawned downstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful. I think I can just use this staircase to get down. This gives us access to it. Yeah, there's the glowing one. Fuck. Oh god. Wait, so bottle cap mine down and then just use, oh god, I need to get up, need to get up, need to get up, there we go. Is it down? Crippled at least? I think it's crippled because it's not moving. So let's take out the rest of the ghouls first. There we go. Anybody else? I think there's something... Behind me. A dumb ghoul. And now we have the glowing one who is definitely not dead yet. Here we go. Oh, that was that was a sneak attack. Okay, that's good. Because um, I need to get out of the way because this thing just gives off more radiation than I want to take. That seems to be it. Oh no. No, no, no. The brackets are still shuffling, so there's definitely one more in here. But US covert operations manual permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. Let's take that. Another skill magazine. Ooh, that's oil. Need to be careful about the oil. Oil makes you go boom. So I'm guessing there's one more in the bathroom behind us here. Yeah, there we go. It's a normal one, so let's just smack its head in. Definitely don't forget to uh, loot the foot lockers because they contain the most interesting loot. But for now, everything seems to be quiet. Although, brackets are still shuffling a bit. But I'm just going to ignore that. We need to head out anyway. Here we go. So, heading out, there's a terminal we can use to open up the gate again. There we go. Just need to be quiet. Because, so, okay. Ah, there's another ghoul down there. Something else I want to do here before we continue. Because I keep talking about that power armor and I think I have a way of getting it. It's inside of that building, but I need to be careful. So as you can see over here in the back, there's a sentry bolt. Which will activate the moment you actually go to the armory over here. So I'm just gonna booby trap the staircase here because I think it needs to go down the staircase to actually get to you. I have one more bottle cap mine. I'm gonna add a pulse mine on top of that. Just because I have one. There we go. So let's see if I can get inside of here. So I went back into the barracks because I think I missed something over here. I think there's a terminal I can actually use to open up the the armory but with all the confusion with the glowing one i kind of forgot to do that so yeah there's another room over here on the right because i saw a ghoul running around that's one ghoul but i think i hear something yeah there's one on the left here as well there we go and i hear the rumbling of a terminal so i'm guessing i'm in the right place so unlock using the national guard officer's password we got that from the uh, recruitment center and then we can use that to remotely open up the door of the armory there we go so that should have done it just gonna take his uh turn off his radio and then take his bourbon thank you more bourbon rum rum where's the rum golden it's in the trash can apparently so that leaves only one thing, we need to head Ed outside and I'm not really sure whether the sentry bolt is going to spawn now or after I've win been into the armory. Guess we'll see. Looks like it's quiet for now, I'm just going to quickly poke my head up. Yeah, he's still in there and my mines are still here as well. So let's just get into the armory and pick what we want to pick. 
Okay, so the armory is, uh, well, heavily guarded, as you can see. There's a few laser trip mines, and there's another uh, nasty surprise waiting for us in the back. But uh, let's just take care of the trip wires for now. And as you can see inside, there's a, yeah, he just ducked down, but I saw him there. It's a, a widowed pool normally. And we even get uh, idiot savant prompts on laser trip mines dismantling as well. That was nice. Is this guy dead? No. Nope. There we go. He is now. Got hit with a baseball bat. Armor workshop, we don't need to check anything of that. And so let's just try and open up uh, the armory itself now. Where the ghoul is hiding, of course. So let's leave all of that in there. And then the big trunk. More grenades, because... Uh, ooh, pulse mine. Might actually take that, because... yeah. Not sure how much I'll take off the uh, sentry bolt with just one uh, bottle cap mine and a pulse mine. Let's open up the storage for the power armor. There we go. And just slowly enter the room. Ooh, the power armor is actually in worse shape than I anticipated. So with the feral ghoul, I think I'm in sneak. So if I just... Oh no, yeah, it was not a sneak attack, but let's just keep going. Keep going. Come on, Bob. Because, yeah, with it, actually do poison damage. I'm wondering how much. It is quite substantial, but we got out of that alive. So, uh, that's good. First, uh, ooh, another uh, Voltec lunchbox with Wonder Glue. Economy Wonder Glue. Twice, even. So, that's really, really good. Um, so, just for the duct tape alone, this is a great place to go into. And flares. A whole bunch of flares for the flare gun. Again, a gun. Can't really use it. There we go. And then, that's, I think I'm gonna, yeah, it's T51 torso and nothing else. And I lose everything. Oh man, this, yeah. Sealed wonder glue. What's that even? That was just a bottle. I was fooled. But yeah, if that's the case, I'm not gonna even touch it. Because that's actually a lot worse than I anticipated. Okay, that means we're gonna have to take the sentry bots on without power armor. God damn it, I didn't know that was actually leveled. Might have got that wrong in my head. So there it is. There it is. I can hear it rolling around. Oh god. So right now I'm hidden. Oh, it needs to go down the stairs. Do I actually pick... Wait, I got another pulse mine. I actually got it equipped even. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, God. It's still alive. Definitely still alive. Oh, I really need to... I can get behind that building if I need to. It's coming this way, though. Oh, God. This is not going to work. Oh, wait. What? That was a little damage. Oh god, yeah, okay, I'm almost down. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Nuka Cola Quantum, which is gonna get my action points back immediately. And then a Psycho Jet to just go slow time and damage resistance immediately. And critical! Just punish it through! Okay, now I need to go, now I need to go, now I need to go. Shit, my, my, my legs are broken. Because this thing explodes! Okay. Yeah, that's a nice explosion in slow-mo, because I'm still under the effect of Psycho Chat. Oh, okay, that was really, really close, because I was an inch away from death at that point. Okay, and that goes to Psycho Chat. <laughs> Holy crap. So that's why I keep um, a good amount of drugs, and um, I wouldn't have done that with the power armor on, because all my effects would have gone away. Because, uh, yeah, sentry bots also explode after they die. So that's two more fusion cores. And all of that. Okay, let's head to those satellite dishes. <laughs> Not that I didn't get as much out of it as I expected, but uh, that was a good fight. Holy crap. So that's where Nuka Cola Quantum also really, really shines because it just gives you uh, your health back immediately. Well, not immediately. It was also boosting it up, but slowly. Uh, but it gives you your action points back immediately, which was uh, what allowed me to uh, 
keep punching the sentry bolts. But now, the satellite dishes. Let's head to there, because there's a few more enemies waiting for us there. But it's dark by, the, by this time, so... Uh, we should be able to sneak through this uh, rather easily. So, the satellite array is actually controlled by Super Mutant, so we need to be really careful, because I've seen one in the trailer right in front of us already. And I know that usually one of them spawns with a rocket launcher. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Oh god. No, 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 I hear suicide. Oh fuck, and that's the rocket launcher. That's... Yep, 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 yep. So first give me the dogs. I'm in caution. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't count on there being a suicide. Do I have, I think I have one more fragmentation grenade. Two more grenades, which is all I have to, there he is. There he is. That's the suicide, so he has a mini nuke in his hands. So there we go. God damn it. Ooh, yeah. I think I got him. So there's the hounds. We need to be need to be careful because there's a rocket launcher. Oh god. What's gonna be? So that's the hounds. Oh god, 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 god. I see the rockets flying. God damn it. Okay, I think um yeah, okay, I'm fine. Caution. So the rocket launcher guy is that guy up there. Which is a problem, of course, because he's one of the last guys I'm going to be able to kill. But if I get into cover a bit... So that's the guy I almost killed. So... Let's try... Oh god. I was going to say let's try to focus on the rocket launcher guy, but I'm really... Oh, damn it. Where the hell is this guy? Oh, crap. Wow! There's the rocket launcher guy for you. Come on, dude. Oh god. Um, we're trying this again, but this time the suicide didn't explode. And that was the rocket launcher again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> what? No. Fuck off, seriously. Now there's a Mylurk following me. What, what the hell? Are you serious? Fuck you, Mr. Gutsy. Jesus. I'm being kicked around here, but now I leveled up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just try and get through this as slowly as possible, because this is a lot harder than I anticipated. There we go. Okay, that's the suicide out of the way. Now, if they would all just stay quiet, might actually be able to quick save after we've killed the suicide. Be nice. There we go, mutant hound in the face. And again. There's a super mutant over there. Oh, they're on the other side of a fence. Yeah, okay. So let's head into this little shack of theirs and let them just come in here one at a time. Okay, there goes one. I dropped the mine in the building, so... There we go. Another one bites the dust. Jesus Christ, he can just... There we go. Chop. Chop. Uh, chop. Just want to take at least the Molotovs. Oh, that's a brute. Uh, 
down. Hup. Oh, he lost his weapon. He lost his weapon. He's down. I think that's the guy with the rocket launcher, even. Wasn't he a brute? I'm literally standing in an, under an umbrella to block the shots. I still can't hit that guy. Come on. Okay, okay, that's another one. I'm burning through my supplies, by the way. So now, there's another one up there. The butcher. Jesus, he doesn't... Oh, gold. He doesn't shoot. He doesn't uh, care about my defense, apparently. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, gold. He lost his weapon. Oh, God. This is a slugging match between me and a super mutant. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let me chop your face off. I am Bob the Barbarian, and I will kill you! That was awesome! But now I need to I need to be careful. I don't want to die now. And that's a normal super mutant, so I should kill that first, and now with the rest, let's see how far we can get. That's two shots. Come on, drop the weapon. Can he fire through the floor? I think he can. Oh, that's a lot of health. Shit, I don't have any. Yeah, there goes the weapon. You're defenseless now, buddy. No, you won't. There we go. Uh, go. Okay. Bye. Okay. I think that was the last of them. So now, what we were here for. The Brotherhood of Steel Knights. So. In one of the shacks we have another uh, distress pulse. Let's take that. And all the ammo inside. And then scribe Ferris's holotape. Let's uh, get all the tags as well. And let's listen to the holotape. To listen what happened over here at the satellite array. Ah. This is... Ferris, it's been two hours since the paladin left. My leg, I can't staunch the bleeding. Uh, the bullet must have hit an artery. Brantis, if you get this, I hope you made it back to Aslan in time. There was nothing you could do for me. Uh, get to the bunker up north. You will survive. That's all that... Uh, all that matters. Okay, so uh, it sounds like Paladin Brandis was the only one who survived. Uh, by the way, we have another US COVID operations manual. So better sneaking and a bit more uh, ammo. So with that done, we've, uh, we've actually done a lot already today. But uh, now we need to head to the bunker. So we know that Brandis was the only man alive after the incident and he was hiding out in a bunker and that's exactly where we're gonna have to go but it's uh, quite a ways off. We've done a lot already today but uh, that should be our final step. Well at least I've done a lot already today because um, well I don't know how long this episode is gonna be but I'm recording for two hours straight now. But yeah here we go fuck it. So we need to head to the north side of the map because that's where the bunker is and we're passing through uh, General Atomics, I think that is, which is, uh, yeah, a building shaped like a, a Mr. Handy. There's a, a very interesting quest over there, nothing really useful for our build, I think, but we might visit that someday, but not today, not today, so today we're just passing by. You know what, I'm gonna try and just activate the area, there we go, General Atomics Galleria, because there's uh, stuff shouted being shouted out through the yeah loudspeakers 
So I'm a bit afraid of this area because there's usually a few mire lurks hiding around here and I don't think I can... Oh yeah, there on the other side. I'm glad I took this side of the lake. There's at least two mire lurks over there. And I'm just holding a battle axe if you've forgotten. What the fuck was... Okay, that doesn't look like a friendly... A mire lurk razor claw. No, 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 oh god. Molotov! Oh god, I'm not gonna kill this. Oh god, I'm not gonna kill this. But hey, here we go. Bleeding damage. Critical! There we go, come on. How does the bleeding damage doing? Ooh. Yeah, there it is. It is stacking rather nicely. Oh god, I'm getting hit. Oh god. Ah, this is gonna hurt. Um, um... Oh god, the game is flipping out again. There we go. Okay, don't know what the game was doing there, but it really slowed down there for a second. I'm almost dead, so yeah, my looks are creepy enough, but this is a razor claw. He looks a bit more, uh, foresty. I think those other ones were normal ones. Should have taken the other side of the lake, but uh, yeah, thank you for the meat. Let's heal that up. This area is filled with crazy creatures, because I've seen blood bugs over there as well. Don't want to be tussling with them right now. And yeah, let's just move away from the lake a bit more. You can see the Mirelur still walking around over there. And I'm just, uh, yeah, I took the Rockfill Slugger, because, I mean, it was like a 30% extra damage boost on those things, the hits from that thing. Now, what are we dealing with? So I want to see what the difference is with the axe. We need to head over there. But usually there's like a spawn here on the road, which can be anything from scavengers to super mutants. We've seen a few of those already. Ah, seems like it's just a settler, so we should be fine, I think. Aside from the fact that we're still walking right next to water, so my lurks are still an option. Okay, I think we're almost there. So we're nearing the edge of the map, the icon is getting huge, and there we go, okay. So, next up is the bunker. I'm gonna change my outfit really quickly. There we go, looking fashionable as always. And now let's head into the bunker. So we have the access code from the facility we visited before, so let's log in. And let's open up the door. There we go. And then... Freeze! One more step and I'll... I'll blow your damn head off! Boy, Hello, Paladin Brandis. How did you get in here? So, uh, Brandis is still alive. So, uh, the one surviving member of the recon group is uh, still in this bunker and he looks a bit uh, worse for wear. So let's talk to him. Easy, Paladin. I'm with the Brotherhood. I don't look like Brotherhood. it. No, no, it can't be there. They aren't here, they're there. They're too far away. They, they, they left me all, all alone. No, they didn't what leave you, you. How did you find me? Well, well, um, the distress signals, Brandis. I followed the distress beacons left by your team. Their hollow tapes led me here. The others? What, uh, what happened to them? Well, they all died. They're dead, Paladin. I recovered their tags. You, you, you did? Thank you. This this really means a lot to me. Well, at least he dropped I the gun. I tried to go back for them, you know. There was nothing I could do, not alone, but... But I'd hoped you've been through a lot to find me. I should... I should give you something. Yes, you should. I've collected a lot over the years. Technology, odds and ends. If you see anything you want, take it, take it. Okay, then. Um, do you want to rejoin the Brotherhood while I'm still wearing this fashionable outfit? The Brotherhood needs you, Paladin. It's time you reported in. I, oh, at I least that succeeded. It's been too long. I, I wouldn't be of any use. Of course you would be. Come no on, knows man. The better than you. We need your help. No, there's oh, no God going damn back. It. Not for me. Not anymore. Okay, guess it won't be that big of a problem. So, uh, reward? Is that all? I live alone. Avoid other people. Everyone. Everything. What do you want? I could let you sleep here, I suppose. That's all right. Or uh, or try the food. I don't have much, but if you're hungry. The only other thing I have is my gun, and... No, 
No, I still need it. I, I can't let you have it. Okay then. Well, um, thank you, Brandis, and farewell. Farewell, Brandis. Goodbye. So at least we know what happened now. And thanks. So all that's left now is to uh, ransack this place a bit and then report back to Paladin Dan. So let me just scavenge around here and we'll get back to dance in a jiffy. So we have Paladin Brandis' holotape. I'll play that while we're uh, walking around in here. Brotherhood of Steel Recon Team 429 Alpha. Final report. Our mission has failed. Six hours after insertion, my company was ambushed. We lost five knights and exhausted our power armor reserves. We scuttled the armor to prevent looting, then retreated under fire, abandoning our supplies. I was separated from the two remaining members of my team within a week. Both are missing. Status unknown. I'd hoped to rendezvous with them at our holdout bunker and seek a means of escape from the Commonwealth. But no one has come. No one has come. So yeah, he was waiting for them to come back, but uh, we know the rest of the story. And yeah, they're not coming back. So uh, thank you, Brandis. And uh, goodbye. Let's go back to dance. So back at the Cambridge Police Station, let's head in. There was a radioactive storm outside, and I'm glad I'm inside right now. So uh, hello, Paladinans. Well, indeed, there's only one survivor. There was one survivor. Paladin Brandis. Paladin Brandis? He's alive. Uh, yeah, but we had to leave him because he uh, didn't want to rejoin. He's alive and well, but he wants to be left alone. It may be for the best. A lot has changed. After all this time, it's hard to say whether he could find a place in the Brotherhood again. Is there anything else we need to discuss? Uh, well, um, do, do you want the holotapes? You want their holotapes? Yes, I'll take them. If we make it back, I'll see that the tapes are delivered to their next of kin. Okay, then. Um... And, and what about their memory? How will the Brotherhood remember them? They faced their mission with courage. They fought with honor against overwhelming odds. They lived and died together as brothers. That is what it means to be a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. He was pretty crude about all of that, so do you want anything else from me? Um, well, that's all. That's all. All right. I'll prepare a full report based on your investigation. If we make it back, I'll see that the Brotherhood honors their memory. Under the circumstances, there's not much I can offer you for your service. I hope some caps will suffice. I this was think no it will. Mission. You've earned my respect, Initiate. Well done. So uh, as he said before, he can't promote me any further and this is actually where the uh, Brotherhood of Steel questline takes a break. So uh, that means that we're gonna do that as well. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this, uh, I think this might have been a longer episode. Well, it has been for me. I don't know how long this episode will be at the end, but uh, after editing. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And well, with that done, I'd like to thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you next time on Fallout 4 The Gunless Playthrough. Goodbye!